Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the Gorgia Moor Pack. Yes, from the Hunter and Hunted box for Warcry. Fantastic new edition for the Ogres, no less. And uh, they've been sent to me only by Games Workshop to build up and paint for you, and I absolutely had to do these guys because they are gross and they are lovely. So we're going to just jump straight in. He has been primed in Grey Seer. And the colour we're going to be using first is some Pallid Witch Flesh. And we're going to be using this to dry brush all of the skin. Now we're not looking to kind of cover the whole of the skin here. We are looking to get some really nice kind of subtle shading here from Pallid Witch Flesh being dry brushed over the top of Grace here. It's really, really subtle, but it's really nice. So we're just going to start like this around here. Gently dry brushing this over the top of all of the muscles. You can see it already in there. You just get that lovely kind of soft. Soft musculature coming out. And you just want to do this over the top of all of the skin. So with that done, it might be subtle, but it is doing quite a lot here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do some recess shading because it's the best way to do it with these kind of really bright characters. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by taking some Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to just pick out the kind of deep recesses on the main kind of central mass of the gouger. So we're looking for the chest the back, shoulders, elbows, that kind of thing. We're not going to do every recess, so we need to do some other colours. Just take your time here. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So with that null oil all applied all the way around, as you can see, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some more tarry and grime. I'm going to apply this over the top of the feet, the hands, and the knees. So we're just going to get this all over the foot here, like so. Got a little bit of foot there, which you don't want to forget about. And got the heel as well, like so. It's a little too much more tarry and grime in there. A little bit just there as well. And then, for example, where you don't have like leather wraps, you can just apply this over the top of this hand, say, bring it up to round about halfway up the forearm. Give the brush a quick wash. And then just feather it out a little bit. Just so it gets that kind of blended effect. Again, just mop it up. That 
and that sort of thing. So with that Mortarian Grime applied, we're then going to take some Briar Queen Chill. I'm going to apply this over the top of those veins popping out. on his arms. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade and we're going to use this to recess shade everywhere that we haven't done with the Null Oil and we can also use a use this to kind of reinforce some of those null oil recesses. So for example, just around here on that armpit, add a little bit of Drakenhof in there, a little bit just there. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Agaros Dunes. I'm going to use this to paint in the toenails, fingernails, teeth, and any kind of bony bits that are pushed through the skin. So you usually have these on, for example, on his legs here. So with that Agaros Dunes all applied, we're now going to take some Caraberg Crimson and over the top of these areas that have been pushed through the skin, we're going to apply this, but we're also going to take most of it off. So we're going to apply the Caraberg Crimson like this, over the top. We're then going to wash the brush and then we're going to absorb and move about to that paint. So with that all done, what we're now going to do I'm going to take some black templar i'm going to apply this over the top of the hair and over the top of the three large horns on his back with that black templar applied we're then going to take some rattling grime and we're going to apply this over the top of the horns strapped to his face
So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of all the cloth. So we've got his loin cloth and we've got his cloak or cape. So with that done, we're now going to take some Gore Grunter fur and we're going to apply this over the top of these straps around his head. The straps around the weapon and the ropes. With that Gore Grunter fur applied, we're then going to take some Shayish Purple and we're going to apply this to the inside of the mouth. Including the tongue. And with that done, we're then going to take some Skeleton Horde and we'll apply this to all of the bones around his neck. So with that now done, we're going to take some Cygol Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of the remaining kind of leather details. So this is going to be areas like around his wrists and ankles. With that Cygol Brown all applied, we're then going to take a little bit of the Lupus Pink here. I'm going to apply this over the top of his gums. And with that Lupus Pink done, we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the wood on the weapons. And with that now done, we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of our metallic details. So this is the axe head here, got those bandings on the weapons. It's a couple of little screws and nuts and bolts and things scattered around the model. Just be on the lookout for those. And with all that Iron Warriors applied, we're then going to take some thin down Dawnstone and we're going to apply this over the rock. So with that now done, we're going to add a shade. Once again, it's going to be some Nuln Oil. I'm going to apply this over the top of the grey, the silver, 
and the black. So with that done, he's almost at war hipster battle ready. However, there's one more thing we're gonna do, which is to take some blood for the blood god. And we're gonna apply this into all the little nicks and scrapes around the skin. I do be on the hunt for them because some of them are a little bit more subtle than others. We've got a couple here on the legs. Like that. There's a couple there on the arm. There's a couple there on that leg as well. Like so. Can't see any more. There you go. But what we're also going to do with the blood for the blood god is we're gonna take some of this on our brush and I'm just gonna do this here on my thumb but you can use a bit of tissue paper. We're just gonna stipple most of it off and then around the mouth. And add a little bit of blood spatter just by stippling it in like that sort of thing we can also do this around the hands. The feet, if you want to, and also the weapons. With that done, as you can see, our Gorgia Moor pack is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And we've been painting the rest of them as we've been going along. So here is the leader of the troop. And then we have our others just here. So for example, there, like that. Looking pretty cool. And we've got these guys as well. Looking pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do now is gonna take this guy and the rest of them to the next level. I'm gonna do this by adding some highlights. Now the first one is a highlight, but it's a weird one. It's kind of a reverse highlight because it's gonna darken down the skin a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some soul blight gray. Only we're not gonna be doing this as a shade all over. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for muscles where we feel like he's a little bit too albino. And we're gonna use this to add some little kind of scrapes. So I'm just gonna take a small amount of the soul blight gray on our brush. And for example, just here on this arm, we're just gonna add some little lines. Like that. Really, really subtle. But it's just gonna add a little bit of texture to his skin. Whilst not kind of overloading it too much.
So with that solve like grey all applied, we're now going to take some thin down pallid witch flesh. We're not dry brushing it this time. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to highlight kind of the sharpest areas in all the skin. For example, areas like the knuckles, any wrinkles. And you can also use this to kind of smooth out any mistakes you might have, given as we dry brushed it way back when. And again, it's quite a subtle little highlight, but it will just make that skin feel a little bit more complete. For example, on these kind of more bruised bits. that sort of thing. So with that done, all of the skin is now finished. So what we're gonna do is gonna take some thin down storm vermin fur. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the black cloth. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down scrag brown. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our Saigor brown leather details. So for example, just down here on this leg. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tiny little amount of blue horror and we're going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like so. And with that blue horror applied, we then take a teeny tiny little dot of black legion we apply this right in the middle of the eyeball. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Karak stone. I'm going to use this as a dry brush over a lot of different details. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to dry brush the kind of tops up here and towards the tips of our horns strapped to the face. We're gonna use this to dry brush over the top of the weapon handles. I'm gonna go over the top of any stone weapons like so. We're going to use this towards the bottom of the black robes. Just add a little bit of a kind of dirty feel. And we're going to use this to dry brush these horns on the back, for example. So with that dry brush applied, we are now going to finish things off by taking some thin down iron breaker and using this to highlight all of our silver details.
with the bases complete, our Gorger Moor pack is now finished. And these are a unit that you very much have to trust the process, but if you follow it, you end up with this absolutely stunning unit of angry cannibals. I, I think they look fantastic. They are one of my favorite things I've done this year. They're so effective. The blood spatters, the little marks in the sort of white skin. I just, oh man, they look so good. I love it. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these contrast plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.